Okay, this section is going to deal with factoring. We're going to end up solving quadratic equations by factoring. Um, this little video will cover the different types of factoring that we'll see. The first type is uh, greatest common factor. And greatest common factor is kind of like reverse distributing. When, when we're done with factoring out a greatest common factor, it's going to look like it needs distributed back in. All right, it's going to end up outside a binomial or trinomial somehow, and it, and it would look like we would multiply it back in. Okay, so an example of that, if we were given the trinomial 6x to the 4th plus 14x cubed minus 8x squared, the greatest common factor that goes into 6, 14, and 8 is 2. And the greatest common factor that goes into x to the fourth x cubed and x squared is x squared. We always, if, if the variable shows up in all three, we always take the smallest power. What's left is you're dividing each one of these by 2x squared. So it becomes 3x squared, it becomes 7x, and it becomes minus 4. Okay? Uh, if you're ever unsure whether you factored it correctly, you should be able to multiply it back in and get what you started with. That's great about factoring is, is you, it's easy, very easy to check your work. Okay, the second way of factoring is called difference of squares. And the first number has to be a perfect square and the second number has to be a perfect square. It has to be subtraction, it cannot be addition. So a squared minus b squared factors into a minus b, a plus b, where um, a is the square root of a squared, obviously, b is the square root of b squared, and the signs have to be opposite each other. Okay, it doesn't matter the order as long as they're opposite. So if we wanted to factor 9x squared minus 49, what you're thinking about is 9x squared is a perfect square because we can write it as 3x squared. That's technically my a value. 49 is a perfect square because we can write it as 7 squared. And that's technically my b value. So this is going to become 3x minus 7, 3x plus 7. Okay, those two, GCF and difference of squares, are the, are the easiest types of factoring. When we start getting into factoring trinomials, it gets slightly more difficult. Um, if we wanted to factor a trinomial like a x squared plus bx plus c, meaning my a value is 1, well, we need two numbers that add to b and multiply to c. Okay, and those two numbers are going to help us factor it. When we factor a trinomial, it's going to factor into two binomials. And if it's an x squared sitting there, we know our first terms in each binomial has to be an x. And again, now we're coming up with two numbers that add to b, which is negative 7. And those same exact two numbers have to multiply to negative 18. Well, if we're multiplying to a negative number, we know there's, uh, one has to be negative and one has to be positive. And if we're adding a positive and a negative, it's almost like subtraction. So we need two numbers that multiply to 18 that differ their absolute values differ by 7. Well, that would be 2 and 9, and the 9 is going to have to be negative, and the 2 is going to have to be positive. And so we get x minus 9 and x plus 2. Okay? Uh, if we multiplied it back out, we get x times x, which is x squared, negative 9x plus 2x is negative 7x, and negative 9 times 2 is negative 18. Okay? Um, now, it gets slightly more difficult when the trinomial has an a value other than 1. And there's two methods you can do with this. Um, one is simply guess and check. We can sit here and play with the numbers that multiply to 5. Well, there's only two options. It has to be 1 and 5. So 5x and 1x. And then 24... We need numbers that multiply to 24. So that's like 1 times 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Okay, so um, we can go through some options here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can kind of just pick one and go with it. 
I'm going to try 4 and 6. So plus 4, plus 6. Okay. Um, actually, I'll put that here. So now what you have to do, you're guaranteed to get the 5x squared and you're guaranteed to get the 24. Okay. Uh, what you're going to check is, okay, 6 times x is 6x. 5x times 4 is 20x. When you add those together, you get 26x. That's not what we're looking to get. We're looking to get 34x. Well, you have to rearrange. You have to maybe see if switching the 4 and the 6 work. 4 times x is 4x. 5x times 6 is 30x. And you do get 34x. And that's what we're trying to get. So that is correctly factored, OK? Um, so I picked these two first, and they happened to work. If they didn't work, I'd have to try 3 and 8. I'd have to try 2 and 12. I'd have to try 1 and 24, OK? Um, if, now, in this case, we're adding to a positive number and multiplying to a positive number, and therefore um, we didn't have to play with one being positive and one being negative. Uh, there was a possibility that um, if this 24 was a negative 24, then we'd have to play around with one sign being positive and one sign being negative. Okay? Uh, so that's the guess and check way. That's how I teach it at the most. Um, but there are other ways of doing it if you don't like guessing and checking. Um, so what we can look at here is doing it by factoring by grouping. Okay? Um, in a similar way to as we did before, you're going to come up with numbers that add to B, but those same two numbers have to multiply to A times C. Well, in this case, B is positive 34, and in this case, AC is 5 times 24, which is 120. Okay? So we need numbers that add to 34, but multiply to 120. Well, there's a lot of things to multiply to 120. 1 times 120. 2 times 60. 3 times, um, 3 times 40. 4 times 30. Well, 4 and 30, if we add those up, we'll get 34. And again, we're adding to a positive and multiplying to a positive, so both our numbers have to be positive. So what we do with these now, it's not as easy as it was when A was 1. We're going to take those and replace. We're going to break down our middle term. Now, the order in which you write this doesn't matter. I could have put the 30x first and the 4x second. It doesn't matter. And now we have four terms. And if you remember this, hopefully from Algebra 1, we're going to factor by grouping. We're going to factor out the GCF here. And we're going to factor out the GCF here. And if you do it correctly, if you pick the right numbers and everything, these parentheses, these binomials that I have in red, are going to match. And we should get x plus 6 times 5x plus 4. What you really did there was factor out a 5x plus 4. This is like almost like a GCF right here. And when you factor out a 5x plus 4, you get these numbers that are on the outside, which is x plus 6. Okay? Again, I don't really care which way you do it. Whichever way makes more sense. If you don't like to guess and check, um, then you can factor by grouping. There's less guessing and checking going on. Um, it's more of a straightforward way of doing it. 